is Taylor. And Taylor puts the pads down, jumps forward. And he's inside the 30. Now a skirmish breaks out. Wow. This has been really chippy the last couple of series. Matthew Judon has come over to the Colts bench the last two series during breaks and play. Pittman had his helmet come off. And you see it rolling around there. Well, Pam Oliver told us during the break that Pittman was really frustrated, went over and kicked the cooler, which you wouldn't think because they're up 20, but maybe there's a little beef going on on the field. You're going to see him. He gets right in Duggar's face. He's smart to keep his hel helmet on. Oh, man. Well, that's why. If their ref saw Duggar throw the punch and rip his helmet off, he could be out. He might be out of the game, Kevin. And that's a huge loss. So just a physical run block. Both of these receivers on both teams are committed to run blocking. It's going to be interesting to see how they settle this one out. Well, I mean, at the very least, it's got to be, you think, a penalty on Duggar. But you're right. We'll see now how they deem it and what they saw. And New York can get involved with this decision, too. I don't mean like the entire city of New York. I mean like the replay building at the NFL. <laughs> they could go and look and they can make a determination if the player would be ejected. Why don't we just start talking about New York and bring in our rules expert, Mike Pereira. Mike, um, what do you think here? Watch this play. Is this enough for an ejection here? Yeah. disqualified from further play personal foul number 11 offense he has also been disqualified from further play wow mike so sorry about that fruits here at the wrong time tell me about what you just heard yeah well that's new york being involved if once the flag gets thrown now new york can look at the whole play and if they see anything that they think should be an ejection even though the officials didn't originally rule that then they can get involved and call for the election uh, injection. I will tell you that this game, as you said, has gotten chippy. So I'm sure that enters into the decision here to take the strong action to try to get control. And that probably led to part of the decision of going with an ejection on each team. Interesting. Yeah, because I'm sure Colts fans are saying, wait a second. It was, uh, you know, Pittman's helmet who got ripped off, but they decide to throw both players. I see Darius Leonard is kind of arguing that point. There's been a lot of talking, I, I, and again, I don't know what started it, but the last couple of series, you pointed out, you know, Patriots players have come near the Colts bench, Pittman showing anger, as Pam told us, and then that was just... Well, Pittman's got to go. He's kind of hanging out on the field now, but you saw Duggar. So Duggar and Pittman, that's a swap. Both are gone from the game. Let the opponent take the swing. Let the opponent get the penalty. Now all of a sudden both teams lose two of their best players and they're